She worked on the X Files with Vince Gilligan, mm -hmm. and the only thing I know about it is that he called her directly. I mean, I've never really talked to her about it much. I just remember when she came into the office and said that she was she had it. So, I, I, you know, honestly, I, I'm not sure how that phone call went. I should ask her. Um, we will ask but, her. But uh, yeah, <laughs> um, she she. The only thing I really know is that yeah, she had a relationship with Vince Gilligan. And he had this pilot, and he was going to direct it himself. And um, I think that he got in touch with her directly and asked her if she would do his pilot. And I remember, like, at that point, we had been on Without a Trace for about a season and a half. And I was getting a little antsy because this was a really great job for Lynn. It was, you know, she could come in, you know, a little bit later. I was doing a lot of editing at that point, you know, because I made a deal with her. I said, hey, you know what, I need to like build up my chops. I need to, you know, try and be editing a lot. Um, and so, you know, at that point I made a deal with her, can I cut half the show? And she's like, yeah, you know. So I knew that at that point that she was pretty much not wanting to, you know, Let's put it this way, the schedules and, and seasons were starting to change. That was a point where um, cable was starting to really come up. More innovative stuff was being done on cable. But Lynn was like not really wanting to go do cable because she was very used to doing, you know, finding one job for 24 episodes and, you know, working for like 10 months. And cable jobs, you know, worked for half that time. And so it was one of those things where she's like, look, I can get these jobs that last a long time. Why should I work for half the year and then have to constantly find work? And I was saying, yeah, but you're really, really good and you could do really amazing things on these shows. Um, so it was kind of one of those things where we had a great relationship where I would just push her and she would be like, eh, but she kind of knew in the back of her mind that I was right, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and so, um, and so I kind of like would constantly be pushing her sort of out of her comfort zone. Like I was constantly, she wanted to kind of stay and I was kind of like, I think we should get a pilot. I think, you know, and finally I had a talk with her and I said, I got to move up and I'm definitely not moving up on this show. Um, and so if you don't take a pilot, I'm unfortunately probably going to have to like leave you. Um, and it was all amiable. I mean, you know, but it was one of those things where the best way to move up on anything as an assistant at that time was to be on a pilot. Um, and I didn't want to leave her cause it was one of the best working relationships that I'd had, but it was kind of like, that's kind of what's going to have to be. So I remember one morning. Um, I got there first. I was working in her room, and she came in and closed the door. And we never worked with the door closed. And so she came in and closed the door, and I said, why are you closing the door? And she's like, I got a pilot. And I'm like, so you're not going to go do it? She's like, I'm going to go. I'm like, really? I was so excited. And I said, what is it? And she goes, it's by Vince Gilligan. And then I was like, my, I went through the roof because I was like, oh my God, amazing, amazing. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. And she said, and then she said, Kelly, but wait a minute, you might want to stay here because they might move you up. And I'm like, no way in hell am I staying here. No way in hell. I would so rather go with you and take my chances, you know? Um, and that's a big chance because it's a pilot. It might it, not happen. Yeah, but but it was always a win-win because I'd still be working with Lynn. So mm -hmm. if it wasn't this one, it would be the next one. I, I really wasn't worried, you know. But, I mean, honestly, I was really looking for something that wasn't a procedural. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, i have been doing that for a year and a half, and I was looking for something else. And then I asked her, I said, is it good? And she's like, oh, my God, it's really great. What did you know about it? What did you know about the... Script? I knew nothing about it. I just said, can I read it? And then she said, yeah. And she gave it to me and I read it and I'm like, this is great. You know, I can't wait. I, it's funny because from that pilot script though, I never really thought it was going to turn out to be what it was. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of like, yeah, you know, this teacher and the student, it's going to be like this slapdash kind of like comedy sort of thing where they were going to go cook in the desert. Never in a million years from that pilot script that I see what it was going to turn into at all, ever. But um, we ended up leaving without a trace in the middle of the season and um, going to work on that. And from there, it's like, look, I won the assistant lottery. I'm fully aware of that. I am, you know, I, I, I believe that I was just in the right place at the right time. I was the last of my peers to move up. And, you know, it took me a long time, but boy, was it the right one.